There you go. Hopefully, oh, it's a link. Yeah. First drop. First drop. Oh, it's a good size link. Nice link. Nice link. Ah, came off. <laughs> hey guys, thank you for tuning in to Mumu Outdoors. We are back out here at Sonoma Coast, a beautiful coastline of Northern California. When I started fishing seven and a half years ago, uh, Sonoma Coast was my uh, first salt experience um, and uh, I fished these waters um, for a few times and so whenever I come back here it feels like home even though I live pretty far away I feel like this is my home so I'm excited I'm out here with my cousin Sang and my buddy Sean and Nando and uh, the first drop I had a pretty good size to lean on it about 28 inches or so uh, but it came off the hook right at the boat so I'm marking some fish water color is pretty clear actually today so I'm gonna be probably using a little bit lighter color uh, bait so right now I'm using a uh, breast bait sleel and I also got some kaiju custom tackle uh, metal jigs and I got some bait as well. I got the uh, herring, I got some mackerel and uh, croaker and jack smell all kinds of bait today. So I'm just gonna start out with the uh, swim bait a little bit um, and then uh, we'll see what we end up using today. So as you know uh, whenever I come out here my target species is always being caught uh, rockfish is kind of bycatch and uh, uh, and a few rockfish is good to take home as well so but initially my target is gonna be lingcod so my first rod is gonna be QI Aries uh, spinning rod with the PC phone uh, Aloe M spinning reel uh, that's gonna be my jigging rod and uh, QI Trident with the uh, PC phone, what is this? Aloy X is a spinning reel uh, with the PC phone Aloy M. Uh, it's gonna be my uh, bait rod. For the bait, I'm using an 8 ounce ball weight. And I got the bait rig here, pretty beefy bait rig. Um, I think this is a size 6 uh, J hook with a size uh, 2 R. Uh, treble hook. Since rock lingcod mouth is really big, I like to use uh, big hooks for big baits. So that's gonna be my rig for bait fishing. I'm just gonna slowly paddle uh, with the bait in the water to get to the spot. And then uh, once Born I get there, magic. This is Dave. Dave. Um, I'll decide either I'm gonna be jigging in or I'm gonna be just uh, relaxing with the bait in the water. We'll see. There you go. There you go. So right now I'm using a herring that I caught earlier this year and I was basically floating the herring right above the, uh, the floor, the ground and uh, this guy took it, but this one doesn't feel too big, uh, could be probably a keeper but maybe, oh it's a, it's a rockfish, I thought it was a, I thought it was a linka, small linka. I got a gopher. Good size gopher. I got 
at a good size gopher right here. like a rockfish yep another gopher this is size gopher Feels like the big cut, but doesn't feel too big. The last one was barely 22, 22 on the dot. So hopefully this one's a little bit bigger. Yeah, it's a little bit bigger. this maybe a ling maybe a small ling maybe a rockfish feels like a rockfish to me if it's a ling is small nice keeper So another awesome day on the water. The bite was pretty slow. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, first thing cut that I lost right at the boat. That was the biggest, about 28 inches. And after that, I lost a really, really nice one. I didn't get to see. It. I only caught it for like maybe man. 15 seconds. But oh man, that was pulling drag. That was big. And caught two border size fairly legal in car um, and I am keeping these two uh, about 24 25 inches uh, which is very good for eating and a couple of rockfish the bite was slow uh, I think I got every single fish uh, on the herring except for the law the biggest one I lost I had a good time in my home water that I consider home water I love this place, so no more coast. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more and go outside and enjoy the outdoors.